All right, Halos, welcome back. How's everyone doing? Uh, we actually do not have Drew here today because of uh, schedules not really matching up, so I just decided I'm going to do the uh, solo patch rundown for patch 14.5 today. So yeah, let's get into it. Uh, obviously, we got a little bit of a preamble here, and then there is the overview of the highlights. Uh, looks like we got some skins in there as well. Uh, it says ring sw split 1 and 2 timing. Uh, the end date for split 1 is going to be May 14th, so... Try to get all your ranked play in by then if you can, for the first split at least. Um, and then there's going to be a bug, it looks like, saying the ranked countdown type. You're still going to say the um, the end date based on last year, but in 14.6, the, the, so the patch after this, basically, uh, they will have that fixed. But yeah, let's get into it. Uh, first up, we got Belveth. Death in Lavender, her passive. Uh, they fixed a bug that caused her to get three stacks for each epic boy monster. She now only gets two uh, per Void Grub for a total of six, which I actually didn't know about um, that that was a thing, so that's kind of interesting. Um, that's actually kind of broken, uh, just a little bit, but not that broken, I guess. But either way, um, she gets quite a few little stacks from just having the Void Grubs in the game, actually, so that's kind of interesting, um, as long as she gets them, obviously. Uh, but yeah, her E Royal Maelstrom is also, uh, the damage reduction is going from 42 uh, it, it was 42 to 70, depending on rank, uh, percent reduction, and then now it's 35 to 55, which is actually a pretty big nerf, I would say. Um, it's going to be a pretty, pretty large nerf, and it's definitely going to hurt her. Uh, I think this is probably a good move in the right direction, though, because having 70% uh, damage reduction on a basic ability is pretty broken, in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, I think this is a good thing, so, yep, yeah, nice little nerf there. Um passive blaze for brand uh his damage to is going back up to 215 percent um i think it was 225 percent before they nerfed it back down to 200 percent so um that's definitely still gonna be got good but yeah definitely stronger than before obviously um and then the r py pyroclasm rather uh damage per hit is going from 100 to 300 it's now 100 to 250 so you get 25 damage second rank and 50 damage third rank. Uh, just a flat damage getting nerfed there. Cooldown uh, is going from 105 seconds to 75 seconds. It's now 110 seconds to 90 seconds. So uh, 5 seconds on ranked 1 uh, longer of a cooldown and then 15 seconds late. So it's actually pretty meaningful. Um, I think these will definitely hurt him a bit, but I don't think this is really going to make it so that we, he can't be played um but i think i think uh this will make him back to being uh pretty decent in the jungle again so we'll have to see but yeah um evelyn her q hate spike uh damage the percentage ratio on the ap is going down by five percent so nothing crazy there i'm not super worried about it but i am glad that it's getting a nerf because i do think this champion is can be very strong in the right hands for sure um, but yeah, so uh, Jarvan the fourth is going to be up next. We got uh, his armor, his base stats, the armor growth is going from 4.5 to 5.2 per level. So uh, that can definitely add up. It's like 0.4 per level extra than that it didn't have before. So definitely nice. Um, Dragon Strike is also getting a nice little buff here, actually. Uh, his Q, he, he, the cooldown was 10 to 8 seconds based on rank. Now it's 10 to 6 seconds. So actually, once you max this guy out, which I think is your first max, um, then you're going to be getting 2 seconds off of that Q cooldown, which is pretty, pretty nice, actually. Uh, he did lose quite a bit of damage with uh, a little bit of nerf to Shoujin and, of course, Score Drinker being gone, but uh, definitely... Definitely, yeah, I mean, this is just a nice buff for him, for sure. Uh, Kane is up next. we got passive, the Darkened Size. So Darkened Bonus Healing was 25%. Now it's 25%, and it also scales off of 0.5% uh, per 100 bonus health. So um, I guess this just didn't have that scaling before, so now he can just uh, get a ton of extra healing by building Bruisery, which was kind of what he was doing. Um, so... He's getting a lot of extra health, uh, like healing here, the, so that's going to be pretty annoying to deal with, for sure. Um, this might make him like pretty broken, but we'll see. 
Also, the R um, Umbral Trespass, uh, the Darkened Form healing, just the Darkened Form it looks like, uh, it was 65% of damage dealt, now it's 75% of damage dealt, so an extra 10% increase there as well. Next up we got Kogma, uh, passive, the Ekathian Surprise, so bonus movement speed was 0 to 40% over 4 seconds, and now it's 10 to 50% over 4 seconds, so you're getting an extra 10% bonus movement speed at the start there, and it ramps up to, it looks like, to an extra 10% at late as well, um, at, after, at the end of the 4 seconds, rather, or like near the end there, so that's going to be pretty nice, actually. I, I feel like this is going to be pretty big. They haven't really touched his movement speed on the passive in many, many years in my rec recollection, so that's going to be quite interesting i think this could be pretty op but we'll have to see i don't know exactly how much movement speed um that is exactly but i could probably figure it out either way um you might just be able to outrun people like a ton now so we'll have to see for sure either way um q caustic spittle cast time was 0 0.25 seconds so a quarter of a second now it uh now matches kogma's auto attack frame time so i'm assuming this is quicker i don't know the exact um the exact thing, but it, it did feel kind of weird to press Q um, uh, just a bit. It like, w was a little bit clunky, I think, as Kogma, so that's pretty nice, I think. Well, I'll, I'll have to definitely check it in, test it in game to be sure, but yeah. Uh, his E Void Ooze, the slow on it, is actually going up 10% at every rank of the ability, so uh, up, up from, so it's not going to be uh, from lowest, is going to be 40%, now it's the highest is going to be 60% of slow. Um, which is pretty pretty decent actually. Um, definitely definitely pretty strong of a buff there. Um, our living living artillery. Uh, everything is the same except his bonus 80 scaling is now going up by 10% on that for the minimum damage, um, which I believe the the maximum is just based on the minimum damage. So this could be quite a bit of damage actually, um, depending on how much health they have, which is usually how it, how it scales up its damage. But yeah, there you go. Living Artillery getting a nice little AD boost there. And moving on, we got Maokai up here. Uh, base movement speed is going from 335 to 330, so down by 5. And then his Q Bramble Smash, Bramble Smash uh, the bonus damage to monsters was 80 to 160, now it's 120 to 160, so uh, just up by 10 every level, basically. Um, now, I mean... This is a nice buff early game to jungle Maokai for sure, um, so that's going to be pretty pretty nice. Uh, and then W tw Twisted Advance, the cooldown on that is going, looks like, down by one second, so, or, or up by one second, rather, um, so it's going to be a longer cooldown by one second on every rank. So uh, 14 to 10 seconds is going to be the new cooldown on that. Next up, we have Nidalee. Uh, her base movement speed is getting nerfed by 5. And then her Q takedown in uh, cougar form, the bonus damage to hunted targets is now 30%, uh, and it used to be 40%. So nice little nerf there. Um, so looks like she's been pretty pop, pretty good in high elo. So that must be what they're going for there. Uh, next up we got Rek'Sai. So I hear she was extremely buggy when the, all the changes from last patch went through, but uh, now we're gonna change everything once again. So. Um, Base stats. The attack windup was 26.67% uh, plus 100% of ta attack speed. Now it is 20% uh, with plus 60% of your attack speed. It says, note, this means attacks take 25% less time to fully animate at level 1, down to 3% less time with stride breaker, runes, and Q active at level 18. So, uh, there you go should be less time to fully animate the attack. And then basic attack cast frame goes from 12 to 10. This means attacks deal their damage about 20% earlier in the animation. And then critical strike cast frame was nine and it is now 10. So I think it's a tiny bit slower, but should be fine. Um, the Q Queen's Wrath quality of life changes attacks can no longer be canceled mid attack. Now matches most other empowered attacks. And then cast time was 12, now it's going to be 9. Note this means that the attack strikes the target about 30%, 33% earlier in the animation. And then the bugs fix, uh, attacks now stack Spear of Shoujin while in, when hitting only one champion. And then her W burrow slash unburrow and um, uplifting change. Uh, unburrow will now knock up all large monsters in range if they're eligible. 
and Unbroke can now damage, but not knock up, targets who are recently knocked up and immune to the Unbro. So that's actually really cool. I really like that, actually. Um, bug fix. Fix the bug where Rek'Sai could stop auto-attacking after burrowing and quickly unburrowing. So there you go. And then E-Tunnel. Uh, bug fix in progress. So reduce the frequency of a bug that caused Rek'Sai to occasionally fail to dash when crossing walls. We'll be keeping an eye out for more instances of this bug occurring and work to resolve them as we're able to. So it's not quite fixed, but they've figured out some of the parts uh, to fix the bug. So there you go. Um, e, Furious Bite, 100 Fury bonus damage. Uh, at, so at, at, 100 Fury bonus da at 100 Fury, the bonus damage that you get is... Uh, used to be 6 to 40% of the target's maximum health, now it's 8 to 14% of target's maximum health, so nice little buff there as well. Um, it doesn't do true damage anymore, so it's trying to compensate that a little bit, I think. And then monster bonus damage cap uh, was 60 to 400, now it's 75 to 400, so a little bit extra damage early game. And then R, Void Rush, uh, damage, uh, the flat damage is going up by 50 level 1, 100 level, or er, wait, no, 50 level 1, 50 level 2 and 50 level 3, so 50 at all ranks. Um, and then bonus AD ratio stays the same with the percentage of targets missing health getting buffed by 5% at every rank. So 25%, uh, 35%, and or 25%, 30%, and 35% of targets missing health based on rank. And then it says it made minor updates to tooltips to improve clarity as well. So that's interesting. Uh, Cinna is getting nerfed here. I'm really sad about this, actually. Uh, I haven't really played a ton of her recently, but um, she is pretty... She's Her lane is just very weak, basically. Um, but pros have been good at figuring out how to deal with that with the kind of like support Cinna, as well as... Um, um, what's it called? Uh, well, it's basically fasting Cinna, but... Basically having like a, a meat, like a meat shield in front of you to block all the enemy damage um, while you're farming or not farming, but you know getting souls at least. But yeah, uh, basically they're nerfing her Q, piercing darkness. Uh, the damage, the flat damage is the same at least, so that's not too bad. But the scaling damage is down by 10% of your bonus AD, so uh, now it only deals 40% of bonus AD instead of 50%. So that's definitely hurts her. Uh, more scaling for sure, but um, yeah. It's, it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Next up, we got Seraphine. Uh, looks like they're doing like a bunch of stuff to her, so let's let's get jump into it. The base stats uh, are actually going up by the movements up by movement speed of five, so you're getting five more movement speed there. Mana growth uh, is ha down by half actually, which is pretty big. Uh, she only gets 25 now instead of 50 mana growth per level, and then mana regeneration. Uh, 0 0.4, it's now 0 0.95, so that's more than doubled, just a little bit more than doubled, the regeneration at least. Uh, the base AD is going down by 5 as well, so it was 55, now it's 50. Pretty low there, but okay. Um, passive stage presence, the damage was um, 5, 10, 18, and 30. Uh, based on level uh, 1, 6, 11, and 16, uh, plus 5% AP. Now it is 4 to 25, based on level linear, and then plus 4% AP. So um, those little notes, I think, is what they're talking about. Uh, so those are getting nerfed, actually, a little bit here as well. Um, yeah, and then uh, they removed the 300% minion damage modifier. Um, so that is unfortunate, actually. Um, it was really good at uh, taking out CS, but looks like we're, they're not going to have that anymore. So that's too bad. Um, Q, high note. Missile speed uh, is, was 1,200. Now it's 1,300, so it's a little bit quicker. Uh, cooldown is uh, was 10 to 5%, to 5, sorry, seconds, uh, depending on rank. And now it's 8 to 6. So two seconds off early, but one second up late. So definitely a bit of a bouncing act there. Um, mana cost uh, was 60 to 85. Now it's 60 to 100. It was 65 to 85. Now it's 60 to 100. So a tiny bit cheaper early, but a lot uh, more uh, mana later. And then uh, in terms of cost, at least. And then the damage is going, it looks like, up by 5 damage at uh, each rank of the base damage. So 
that's not really much to compensate for all the nerfs here, but at least it's something, I guess. Uh, maximum damage amp mi based on missing health is now 60% instead of 50%, so you do get extra damage based on the, how low health they are. And then uh, the damage amp no longer affects non-champions, it says, so that doesn't work against minions and such. Uh, or like monsters, anything like that. So that's kind of interesting. That definitely hurts her quite a bit, um, especially wave clear. And then removed uh, no longer prevents minions from dying to other minions while in flight. So apparently it used to, under the hood, have a kind of like signal to minions that they aren't actually allowed to die uh, to other minions while the, the Q is in flight, but it looks like they are removing that now as well. So it's going to be harder to see us for sure. Um, especially with the Q and the passive combined, all those nerfs. All right, anyways, the uh, W, surround sound, the shield slash heal. Uh, the cooldown was 28 to 16, now it's 22 to 18, so six seconds off early, but two seconds up late. And then mana cost is, was 80 to 100, now it's 70 to 90, so a little bit less here, actually. Looks like about, yeah, exactly, 10, 10 less mana each level, which is nice. Um, definitely cost a lot to cast that one before, but you do also have this costing a lot more, so definitely a bit of a trade-off. Um, the shield, um, let's see, it's going up on the base dam uh, base like amount by 10 at every level, and that's it. And then the Seraphine bonus movement speed uh, was 20% plus 4% AP, now it's 20% plus 2% AP, so actually quite a bit of a nerf there as well on the movement speed there. And then we've got E up next, the beat drop. Uh, cooldown was a flat 10 seconds, now it's a, uh, 11 to 9 seconds based on rank. And then mana cost was 60 to 80, now it is 60 at all ranks, so that's that's actually a little bit nicer at least. Um, um, and then damage was 60 to 200, now it's 70 to 190. So it's up by 10 early and then down by 10 late, basically. But that's that's based on rank. Plus, uh, the AP scaling is actually up. Uh, it was 35% AP scaling on the damage, and now it's 50% AP scaling. So that's actually a pretty nice little bump there as well, at least. Um, slow duration was a one and a half seconds. It's now 1.1 to 1.5 seconds based on rank. And then minion damage was 100%, now it is 75 or 70%, so it's definitely a lot worse. Obviously, you're not going to be using it for uh, wave clear too much, but sometimes you were trying to, so there you go. Don't do any more, I guess. <laughs> uh, R, Encore, the damage on this, um, the flat damage is unchanged, but the AP scaling was 60%, now it's 40% AP. Um, that's quite a bit of a hit there, for sure. And then the cooldown as well was 160, and then 130, and then 100. Now it's 160, 140, and 120. So um, same at level one at least. What's a very long cooldown though? More like two and what? Two and a half second? Two and a half minutes, right? A little bit more actually, I think. Yeah. Um, or no, no, a little bit less actually. But yeah. Um, and then it's now 10 seconds more in the second level, and then 20 seconds more at the third level. So quite a long cooldown on that bad boy as well. They're just hitting her a lot of ways basically here. Um, they've got a little bit of a run down there if you want to read it, but yeah. Uh, not super great. I don't think she's really that overpowered, but I know she's been a little bit of a menace in some areas um, for them to figure out. But yeah, they're definitely hurting her a lot here for sure. That's too, it's, it's unfortunate. It's too bad. Uh, Sivir's base armor was 26, now it's going to be up to 30. So, um, it's definitely quite a bit nice, kind of nice little buff there for her. I don't think that's what she needs, but um, it'll definitely help her quite a bit. Um, there you go. And then uh, Smolder, so Q, Super Scorcher Breath. The third upgrade bonus true damage was 6.5% of target's maximum health. Now it is um, plus 2% bonus AD, plus 1% AP plus 0.8% of Dragon Patient stacks of target's maximum health. So I this is a lot of numbers, um, but yeah, it looks like it, uh, it looks like a nerf to me. Um, but it, I'm not really sure, honestly. I'll have to, we'll have to definitely check, but this seems like, seems like a nerf. We'll have to see though. Yeah, either way, um, 
E flat flat flap uh, number of bolts is, was 5 to 10 based on critical strike chance. Now it's 5 plus 1 per 50 dragon patience attack. So a little bit of a nerf there in some ways, but also a little bit of a buff in some ways. Let's see. You'd have to get what? Uh, let's see. You'd have to get 50 times 5, right? So 250 dragon patience stacks for it to be at 10. So yeah, I mean it scales I guess. A little bit longer, a little bit better, but I don't think you're getting too many more stacks than that. Um, either way, tooltip has been updated to clarify that these bolts are not attacks. Interesting. Okay. So yeah, it's they're not they're not auto attacks, I guess. Um, which I was kind of wondering about, and it's kind of too bad that they aren't. I feel like they should be, honestly. But hey, whatever. Uh, either way, our mom uh, damage is going down in the flat department. Um, yeah, it looks like just that, actually. Um, so it was 225 to 475, now it's 200 to 400. And then Sweet Spot increased damage multiplier was 30%, now it is 50%, actually. So uh, quite a bit more damage if you get hit that cinder. I think that's probably good overall. Uh, self Heal was 110 to 210, now it's 100 to 170. And then the uh, it actually has a plus 50% bonus 80 scaling now uh, that it didn't have before. So. There you go. Uh, miscellaneous. Frame data on basic attacks has been adjusted to better match Smolder's animations. Interesting. All right. Twisted Fate. E stacked deck. The bonus attack speed is going from 10. It was 10 to 60%. Now it's 10 to 50%. So uh, basically, I mean, depending on rank, but basically at the end there, you're losing 10% bonus attack speed just for free. Uh, unfortunate. Um, bonus attack damage, or bonus damage rather, um, was, looks like everything else is the same except for the bonus 80 scale uh, or ratio that they added to it. It was 75% bonus 80, now it's 20% bonus 80, which is a huge nerf. But, um, yeah. That's, yeah, that hurts them a lot for sure. Um, still viable, but yeah, definitely hurts. Either way, um, Vayne, passive night hunter, bonus movement speed was 45, now it's 30. So it says note bonus movement speed during final hour will be unchanged at 90. And then Q tumble, they cool down on this. They have not touched this in a long time, but uh, used to be four seconds to two seconds based on uh, level, and now it is six seconds to two seconds. So quite a bit up, down or like nerfed uh, from before. So yeah. Uh, definitely hurting her quite a lot. Uh, they, I guess they just don't want like her in mid or top anymore. So there you go. It's too bad. I don't think that was really necessary, but uh, yeah, it is what it is, I guess. Uh, Vagar, Q Baleful Strike. Um, let's see. Looks like the base damage is unchanged, but his uh, AP scaling is of his Q is actually going up, which is kind of crazy. Um, so... It was 45 to 65% AP scaling. Now it's 50% to 70% AP scaling based on rank. That's quite a bit of a, a buff there for sure. And then our primordial burst was 120 seconds of cooldown to 60 seconds. Now it's 100 to 60 seconds, uh, depending on rank. So yeah, just down down by 20 seconds early is pretty good. And then 10 seconds uh, during level 11. All right, next up we got Vex. Uh, her passive Doom and Gloom, Gloom Detonation damage uh, was 30 to 140 based on level, plus 20% AP, and now it is 40 to 150, so basically 10 up at all ranks, um, or all levels, and then uh, plus 25% AP, so 5% extra AP scaling as well. So that's definitely a nice little, little bump for her. Um, nothing super crazy, but definitely helps. E looming darkness new killing units you killing units with looming darkness now grants doom and gloom's passive refund so there you go you get your fear up just a little bit quicker um, by actually killing units with your E so there you go um, nice little buff there I think she needs more but um, yeah at least we'll take something <laughs> for now uh, Wukong passive stone skin so maximum number of stacks are going from ten to five now. And then percent amplification per stack is now, uh, it was 50%, now it's 100%. So I think that makes up for that. But uh, yeah, I think that just means you can get it quicker, basically. 
uh, yeah, and then stack fall off rate used to be all at once. Now it's one at a time, which is definitely a nice little quality of life thing as well. All right, Yorick, here we go. He needs to be nerfed. He's very strong. Very, very, very strong. Uh, passive, Shepherds of Souls. Shepherd of Souls. Tooltip clarified to state that only Mist Walkers take reduced damage from monsters. Interesting. Um, e, Morning Mist. Cursed uh, bonus damage for eight attacks. I don't actually even know what this means. But uh, I guess maybe if the if the little guys attack you, the, the souls attack you eight times, they get bonus damage or something. I'm not sure. Um, or maybe your next eight attacks give you like a bonus. Uh, but yeah, either way, it was 30%. Now it's 20%. So definitely a nerf there. So that's good. Uh, R, Eulogy of the Isles. Um, Maiden armor in magic resist was 10 to 50 based on level. Now it's 30 to 90 based on level. And they removed uh, Maiden no longer reduces area of effect damage by 50%. So there you go. And then tooltip now clarifies that Maiden takes 70% less damage from lane minions. And then a bug fix, Maiden's 1 slash 2 slash 3% maximum health damage based on level no longer bypasses evasion like Shin's W. Note, blind, dodge, and evasion all work appropriately against the rest of Maiden's attacks. Okay, interesting. That's pretty cool. Alright, I think that's good. Either way. Let's jump into Zack. So it looks like they're buffing his W. Uh, unstable matter. Matter. The slot damage is going up by five. Wait, no, no. Up by five, rank one. Equal at rank two. Down by five. Down by ten. Down by twenty. Okay. So down. Or wait. No, down by fifteen. Sorry. Down by fifteen. And then it was. Uh, it looks like the the second part's actually unchanged. So it's just the flat damage getting a little buff early, but a, a decent size, but nerfed in the lights. Sorry about that, guys. My headset just randomly turned off. That was really weird and completely unnecessary. <laughs> Either way, uh, yeah, a little bit of a nerf here, actually, for him, so that's probably a good thing. I thought this was a buff at first, so I was like, uh-oh, he doesn't need that. Anyway, um, this is fine. Let's move on. Items. So, a Celestial Opposition. Cooldown was 20 seconds, now it's 18. Slow Duration was 1.5 seconds, now it's 2 seconds. And then Slow Strength was 50%, now it's 60%. Dream Maker. Blue Bubble but Damage Reduction was 140, now it's 75 to 255. So, a little bit nerf early, but definitely a pretty nice buff late. Um, and then Purple Bubble Bonus Damage was 90, now it's 50 to 170. So, once again, same type of thing. Nerfed early, buffed late. And then Frona's Frozen Heart. They're, they're hitting her again. Um, total price was 2,400 gold. Now it's 2,500 gold. So an extra 100. Uh, definitely still a nerf. But I, think it's, I think that's fine. Just that part alone. And then armor down by 5 again. So now it's 65 armor. This definitely hurts it quite a bit though. Um, I think it's still going to be bought quite a bit. But it's definitely a lot worse than it was. It was 2,300 gold. And I think... Uh, I want to say it was like 90 armor, but yeah, they've been hitting it. This is the second time they've hit it, I think. Uh, so yeah. And then Heart Steals up next. Proc bonus damage was 100 plus 10% bonus item from I bonus health from items, and now it is 80 flat, so 20 less, um, but plus 12% bonus health from items. I think they say this is a buff. I think. But yeah, also the tooltip is not going to be reflective of this, but um, in 14.6, the next patch, it will be reflective, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, I, this looks like a nerf to me a little bit, at least early, but um, apparently it's a buff later, so... Or uh, I think it's a buff overall. Anyway, uh, Leviathan or an upgrade. The proc damage is also reflecting the same thing. And then the bug fix fixed a bug that gave the Leviathan 25 ability haste, which is kind of interesting. Uh, either way, uh, Solstice Slay, cooldown was 20, now it's 30 seconds. Bonus health uh, was 7% of maximum health, now it's 5 to 230, so it doesn't scale off of maximum health anymore. And then bonus movement speed was 30%, now it's 25%. And then it says item tracker flavor text updated, so I don't know what that means, but okay. 
Uh, Spear of Shojin. Spells now only grant one stack per cast, up to one per second for spells that deal damage over time. Attack-based spells now add a stack and get their damage improved by the spell amp. All right. And then damage from not from champion passes should no longer grant stacks for focused will. Okay, interesting. And then Sunfire Aegis, uh, the health is going from 450 to 500, and then Immolate base damage is going from 12 to 15. So uh, these are pretty nice buffs for Sunfire, honestly. Um, seems like it's going to be good. Uh, I think this gets amped by based on the, the item as well, so that's also a little bit more than it looks like, I think. But we'll see. Um, either way, AP Assassin items. So we got Lich Bane, Spellblade, Damage, uh, the AP, which they haven't touched this part in a long time, if I remember correctly. Pretty sure it's been this way for many, many years. So, yep, they're doing that a lot this patch, it looks like. But yeah, uh, it's going down by 5% AP scaling. So, definitely hurts, uh, especially AP users, which are the main users for it. Uh, Storm Surge, uh, movement speed, it was plus 5%, now it's eight plus 8%. So, a buff on Storm Surge. I don't know where, what they're smoking for this one, but... Uh, that item does not need buffs. Hextech Rocket Bell uh, is also the total price is going up by 100 and the AP is going up by 10. Um, something there, I guess, but I think it's still roughly not that good of an item. Um, and then we got area balance, area balance changes that we're not really worried about, but we do have bug fixes and quality of life changes, so definitely read through these if you have time. Um, they're definitely useful. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, we'll catch you a couple weeks from now. Hopefully Drew and my uh, schedules will be synced up a little better so we can uh, do the passion us together. But yeah, um, either way, we got a Project Gangplank, Project Jax actually looks pretty cool. And then Project Nefiri looks like they're, they're coming out this time around. So yeah, not looking forward to playing against any of those champions, but we'll probably be seeing a little bit more of those. We also, of course, have the, uh, the Chromas going to be released for those as well. Yeah, Jackson looks pretty nice, actually. All right, cool. Thank you guys for watching once again, and uh, yeah, we'll catch you next time. Peace.